Okay, so. I can tag here. What? I'll tag where we're rolling. Oh. Intro. So tonight we're doing my cookies. One and a half. There were 16 in there. My husband ate the whole bag. With the big old fight drama earlier in the kitchen, you missed it. Yeah, you didn't Thanks, miss buddy. it. I said the word purported, too. Because purported. he said, well, they were in my freezer. And I said, are you purporting that you didn't know that they were not yours? When they use anyway, fancy words, it was fun. they're really mad. Yeah. <laughs> so we are doing a couple little episodes on Williams-Sonoma pre mix stuff to see how we do. How are we like it? good or do they suck? Because they're very expensive. So we have this gluten-free pound cake mix. We'll save that for next weekend. Yesterday we did this, um, let's see, let's see. Yesterday we did this Meyer lemon gluten-free quick bread. Last weekend we did the blueberry one. And tonight we're going to do the Bouchon Bakery chocolate chip cookies and compare that to Kim's. And both of these were gluten-free, by the way. How those chocolate chips look. I'm interested because there's chocolate chips and then there's like chocolate chunks and then there's like little pieces. So the thing that's fascinating for me is that this is, these are Bouchon Bakery's recipe. For best results, use a European style butter with at least 83% butter fat, which I have at home. Well, if you have Kerrygold, it might be 83% butter fat. Um, I cool. need one and a quarter stick butter. I so, need one egg. Does it actually tell you? Yeah, uh, sometimes. If it's high butterfly, it will promote it. No. Um, just trying to share our stuff here. So, oh, oven at 325, not 350. That's why it pays to read the directions. Yeah, usually chocolate chip cookies are 350. I mean, pretty standardly anyway. Um, have all the ingredients at room temp and the bowl of electric mixer fit, fitted with the flat beater. Beat the butter on medium speed until smooth. About four minutes. About four minutes. Add the sugar and continue to beat until light and fluffy. About three minutes. Scraping down the sides of the bowl as needed. Blah, 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 325, baking sheets, parchment paper. So Debbie's gonna cut up one and a quarter sticks of butter. Because I can do that. She can definitely do that. And for the uneducated and ignorant, as am I, what's Bouchon Bakery? Oh yeah, Bouchon Bakery is this bakery in, well, they're all over now, but started in, in Napa Valley hmm. because I always go blank on this guy's name. It's a famous chef. Maybe even has Michelin stars. Has a pastry chef. And she's the one who came up with the cup for cup gluten-free flour that I use. Debbie's trying to pay attention to me. I am this paying is attention. Much, this is what Actually, she's doing. the real thing is I want to get out of the light. It's very not attractive, especially for the jowl line. So we're moving oh, over here. Oh, I see. So that only means that my jowl line looked really bad when I was no. in it before, and she noticed. Listen, I have seven years or more on you. I didn't lose counting. So my jowl line we're getting is those, not holding up as well as your jaw line. We're going to get those years removed one day, me and Deb. We're yeah. going to disappear for a week and come back and be 25. That's right. Little and, we're, and then we're going to be like, what do you mean? I look great. I didn't do anything. <laughs> And there will be no evidence. What are you talking about? Because all our earlier episodes would have been deleted. Yeah, suddenly there's no content to review. Okay, so Bouchon Bakery. I'm looking up this guy's name. Can we kill the dogs in the background, please? Yeah, I'm sorry to be spending the food. They're measuring Bouchon. my dog's boobs. Okay. Bakery, Napa. Bouchon. So. She, Thomas she Keller. Thomas Keller. Eight and a half. One and a quarter. So one. So it's one and a quarter. What? Butter, sticks of butter, with this brown sugar mix they include in their box. Okay, so one stick. That's easy enough. And um, the quarter cup is going to be four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. Good. It's not a quarter cup. It's one and a quarter sticks. So it's two tablespoons. Oh my God. Okay. Are you stuck? <laughs> Wake up! One and a 
quarter. Math and I can't cook, so just spell it out for me. I need two ta two tablespoons of butter from there. <laughs> oh my God, she's a retard. Two, okay, two there things. we go. Did this not come in a box? What, did you throw out the box? The carryover? I may have. Yeah, didn't I? Okay, so Debbie's going to put the butter in here. Or I'm going to put the butter in here. Okay. And uh, well, I think we should um, scoot this over, right? We can scoot this over here and plug it in. Mixer? Yeah. You guys want to go upstairs? Yeah, guys, we're filming. Oh, we're not saying we're not being. See you next Tuesdays. We're just wondering if maybe you want to take it upstairs. We're trying to just up our game a little bit. We're trying like, to be more professional, okay? The, the like the dogs and the cats and the kids and the half naked people coming running across the set on their way to the bathroom, okay? Just we're trying, trying to be like Ina Take it up or not? We'll get. We'll stop giving more pets, and we won't have the problem of a dog making so much noise. That's a real why. That's a real handling. I like that. That really okay, opens so the door. So the butter's gonna go in. It needs to really be cream. And I can tell you from experience that if you leave the butter and the sugar in the mixer for a long time until it's like lighter in color, it changes the outcome of the cookie. Jennifer's watching. Jennifer Lindsay. She says the lighting looks good. Oh yeah, except for the jowl lines, right? Okay, I just have to have a whiff of this because this looks kind of yummy. So this, can't eat it. Interesting. So it's somehow, sometimes wise to help the mixture by cutting up the butter. Like the recipe did say all ingredients at room temp and this is not room temperature butter. It's warmer, I mean it's colder. So if you can cut it up, it makes it go faster and it's easier. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna make some tea. Yeah. Tea, hey, anyone?
sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. Um, so the Bouchon Bakery first opened to bake bread for Thomas Keller's award-winning restaurants. Um, anyway, I have a I have a bunch of their cookbooks and stuff there. There. Oh yeah, you can see, you can't see, but. I show you. Put it under here. Oh. So if you see down in the bottom, it's lighter, and up at the top, it's darker. Yeah, what's that from? Well, I started whipping it. It was dark brown. Now it's getting lighter because it's incorporating air into the butter. And the sugar sort of acts like to, to macerate or break down the butter and it starts to add air and it changes colors. So that's what you really want when you make cookies if you really want like a professional result. You have to beat the snot out of your butter and sugar. Someone commenting? Uh, Jennifer, your comment was worthy of dragging on the screen. Says lol, Kim's talking about sphincter muscles and Debbie's talking about being old and crusty and yet you tell the kids in the background to be quiet on the set. Oh, <laughs> laughing my ass off. <laughs> What's wrong with that? And now we got a picture of just a nice you're about dish rack. Like, oh, shut up. See, Jennifer, isn't this the best thing to do on Saturday night? It's much better than going out and doing something entertaining. This is cheap entertainment. That's it, what we're all about. It's Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> don't be greedy Saturday, Sunday, same thing. This is all I do, so I don't know the different <laughs> days of the week. Okay, so I think we need one egg. What does it say on our little recipe card? We need one, one egg. egg. So, like I said, I'm going to be robotic about this recipe the first time I make it. Can I do something useful and put the egg in? Yeah. Because I can't touch my nose. Okay, so we have to add the egg. I feel like a kid, you know, when you're little and you go, Mom, can I do can something? Can I put the egg in? put the egg in for like now a normally this of sugar. Is, this is a violation because normally I put the egg in like a contain a cup first because sometimes there's funky stuff in the egg or the eggshell gets in there. If you put it in here it's nightmarish to get out because I've done it. Okay so now I'm going to beat this egg in here probably for a minute or two. And then all we have to do is add the flour and the chocolate and we're good to go. This says 18 to 20 minutes that you bake the cookies for. Yes. Long time. Way too long. Another one happened with my thing is stevia. So let me show you now how it looks. Wait before it. Debbie before Debbie goes on a wild goose chase to find her stevia. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks good. It looks buttery. So that's oh. after the egg that's gone in, and I scraped the bowl down. So now I'm going to scrape the bowl down again, beat it a little more, and then I'm going to put the flour and the chocolate chips in, and I will show you the results. It's important to, I've noticed, since I've been baking gluten-free, it's important to scrape down the bowl, specifically for these, because when you get to the bottom, if you have to scrape down the bowl and it's like everything isn't fully incorporated, you end up with like your last batch will have like a higher concentration of butter in one spot and maybe more sugar in another spot, and then it will get flat in the middle of the cookie and then it'll burn in this weird spot. So you have to make sure that you scrape your bowl down so that 
you don't have any weird spots and stuff that's not fully mixed together. Debbie wants to say something. No, I'm oh. actually pretty impressed with myself that I'm not talking over you. Oh, yeah. I'm practicing. <laughs> Can I throw this out? No. That's for our cookie sheet. Oh, okay. Fine, and what's so, this for? That's the flour that goes in here. So can you cut that open and cut the, yeah. the throw off the chew up it? The one thing I don't like about using mixes is that their vanilla always <clears throat> seems to taste cheap to me. And I really am a fan of using really good vanilla. Like the real stuff, like Nielsen Massey's vanilla and stuff like that, because it really makes a huge difference. Cool thing? Yeah. And what is it, Nielsen Massey? It's Nielsen Massey vanilla. What happened was, is that vanilla used to be expensive. It was like $11 for a jar, a little baby bottle. And then they, <clears throat> there was a, a tornado or a typhoon on the island of Madagascar, and it wiped out the orchids that produce vanilla bean. And now a bottle, a small bottle of vanilla is 60 bucks. Seriously? Yeah. So I have my mom always on the hunt at the Williams Sonoma outlet stores for vanilla. And wherever she sees it, she buys it. For me. And when do these go in? These go in after I combine the flour with the mix, the chocolate chew up the chips will go in. Now we're supposed to be lining two baking sheets with parchment paper. Would you like me to do that? Well, I only like to use one baking sheet at a time because this I feel like messes I messes up the baking. Yeah, because the bottom rack always gets darker on the bottom of the cookies because it's closer to the heating element. So I don't like to use the lower racks. Hot tip of the day. Yeah, and also it blocks the heat for the cookie sheet on the higher rack, um, the heat that's coming up from the bottom of the oven, so it just sort of like skews my result. And I don't like that. Because you know, chocolate chip cookies are one of my most favorite things in the world. And what started me baking, because I used to beg my mom to make me cookies, because my mom made really good chocolate chip cookies, and sometimes she wouldn't want to. And, and then I just had to learn myself, so I didn't have to ask anymore. Where uh, did Doug eat all of the ones that you made? We're comparing oh, yeah. this to Kimmy's homemade chocolate chip cookies, which are the best. And we can't keep them around because as soon as she makes them, my husband, her brother, comes and eats them all. Yeah, like so. you can literally get, it's like a horde of locusts come through your house. Yeah. Just the, milk locusts. Just, the milk disappears, the cookies are like white. We had this really nice, Huge bag of chocolate chip cookies, and there's I mean, one I did, I and a quarter. I ate like two of them tonight. Yeah, so. but there was like what 16 in here. The yeah. Other day. And so. when he when he told when he confessed his sin of eating them, he was like, "Well, I had like one or two. All right. So in go the chocolate chips. I'm a little concerned because that's so much chocolate. chocolate. But, Come on. Um. Anyway, like I said, I do the whole recipe exactly how you're supposed to. And then if it's horrible, then you can then I can alter it. Tweak it. However, unless these are amazing, I don't think we're gonna be buying them. I don't know. Because I can't imagine that they're better than Kim's. And this box here, which is going to produce how many cookies? Twenty-four. Probably a good amount. It's twenty-two ninety-five plus tax. Yeah, that's not the fun part. No fun at all. It's yeah, all when you eat my cookies, it's all free. <laughs> Whatever, I just show up and make it happen, as my dad would say. Here, throw that under the camera, too. So That looks so yummy. Debbie should be commended because Debbie actually hasn't cheated for three weeks for a long time, and I'm surprised. She hasn't cried about it. She hasn't bitched about it. Like, in the beginning, there were literal tears. Mm -hmm. That's because there's an end in sight. Ah. Okay, put that right there. There we go. Yummy. How is that? You see it? It's good. It's a lot of chocolate. 
right. It's a lot. It's going to be interesting to see how it comes out. My brother will like it because he likes a lot of chocolate chips. I, however, do not. Do you think so? He, yeah. he doesn't always like it. It's too chocolatey. He won't. He likes a lot of chocolate. He likes more than I put in. But there's been many a favor I have garnered in my time with the offering of I'll make a cookies. Alex Scott is my number one. So we'll do anything if I call it. We're like, hey, can you come do blah at my house? I'll make you some cookies. He'll be like, yeah. Never says no. So, I have a question, sorry. When you have a good cookie recipe, you can get lots of favors. Xylitol, is that the same as stevia? No, but it'll work. Why don't you use the, the what's Mount it proof? called? Yeah. So these cookies are gonna be kind of large, but I'm not putting very many on here, because no I just want to see how they bake off. I wish I had been smart and brought my scooper because my scooper ensures uniform amounts of cookie dough so that they are the same size. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Okay, I have a comment to make on xylitol. I know it's off topic. Okay, never mind. Put the cookies in and then I'll make my comment while they're in there. Yeah. So. Xylitol, derived from 100% North American hardwood. What? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's from trees. For real? I mean, Why don't you Google it for us? I guess. All right, well, it must be made, it's an alcohol, so it must be made by some sort of chemical process. It prevents osteoporosis okay. and has anti-aging properties while we're on the subject oh, of good. old Saggy and gels. Saggy gels. Then I'll use the whole packet. <laughs> uh, well, it's made in Colorado, so these yellow nice trees there are contributing to your tea right now. Yeah, I mean, in Colorado, there's probably something else in this. <laughs> We'll see if I have the Suddenly your mood improves, we'll know why. Emma, can you Google it for us? Google it. Emma's playing a video game. It's not a video game. What is it? It's a dieting game. And I'm dieting? Hey, your Do mom it. says, hey guys. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nan. Hi, Mom. Come say hi, Fish or Emma. Are you watching? Yeah, come say hi, Emma. Oh. I'm going to Google it. Over me. You can lick the bowl. Remember licking the bowl? Yeah. Yeah. She still licks the bowl. And because we had those three kids, three everyone. of us. Try it. It's here. Kids. Sorry, Deb. It's okay. I'm so tired. One person got to food. lick the bowl. One person got to lick the spatula. And one person someone got, to got lick the bowl? Yeah, someone got the bowl, someone got the spatula, and someone got the spoon. Because there's three of us growing up. Well, that would have been World War Three at my house because, well, first of all, it's not true because my mom is the most efficient scraper <laughs> so of bowls bowl. and equipment that there's like a molecule left on the beater and no molecules left on the bowl. It's like the memory of cookie dough in there. And you're like, what? My brother and I would both be like, oh my God, I got the bowl. And then look in there and be like, it's nothing. She'd be like, go ahead, lick it. I'm like, lick what? There's nothing there. There's a memory of whipped cream. Like, once whipped cream lived in this bowl, but now my mom scraped it. And then I would go to my friend's house, and their mom would leave it like full. And I was like, God, how is it? It's not the same as your mom's, huh? It's just like. I might be getting a compliment here. Hold on. <laughs> it's like slightly. Chalky. Smells good. Chalky. And like bitter, but it still tastes good. Like it's good for gluten free. Yeah? Yeah. But it's chocolate chalky and a little bit bitter. So will you taste when they come out, will you taste one of them against one of mine that's in that little bag? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's chalky. Well it's also it's like raw. in the back of my throat, I can't. It's also raw. 
It makes you feel like no joke. It's really hard to make good gluten-free anything. It was really hard. Yeah, but I know, but just stop doing it. Except your gluten-free cookies are amazing. I know, but I can't get any love in my house because no one gives a care about whether or not. No one gives a care. Can you even tell Emma that they're gluten free? Can you tell? I don't the eat difference? them. I don't even eat cookies. I don't eat. So I mean, in my whole life, there's been shit in the freezer. You know what I'm saying? Like apple pie, blah blah blah. My whole life, there's been stuff laying around. I'm just sick of it. <laughs> I don't want when it. When I'm six feet under, she's gonna be crying about my chocolate chip no, cookies I'll just and my apple pie. Learn how to make it by then. Oh yeah, she won't cry about it. So, I have a question. Can you make yes, gluten-free molasses cookies? Because those are the best. Yeah, her, so Debbie's daughter Kylie makes really good, like molasses ginger snap cookie that was I like those. so good. It was gluten-free. No. Yeah, it was gluten-free. She made a gluten-free mm -hmm. batch and then a regular mm -hmm. batch. But her gluten-free batch was a bomb because she told me. No, they tasted amazing. They were just a little melted. Okay, so then I made a gluten-free batch Five that was people a watching. bomb. <laughs> it looked the gluten-free molasses cookies that she made looked like um, what's that? What's that thing you call it when it's like it looks like squares and it's kind of melted and it's caramelized. Gingerbread? It's like a candy almost. It's not a cookie. It's I like a, it looks like squares, squares and it's caramel. No. Jessica Vernell, is that the cutest Emma? <laughs> that looks delicious. It is the cutest Emma. That is the cutest This is our William Sonoma episode, Jessica. We're, we're testing all of these, taste testing all of the, the pre-mixed stuff. So this is the one we're doing now. We did a lemon thing yesterday and blueberry thing last week. And overall, they're pretty good. That's a general consensus, but they're not cheap. They're not cheap, but they're, the quality is actually pretty decent. Like, I've bought many a gluten-free mix. I've bought, like, gluten-free bread sandwich bread. I've bought all kinds of mixes to make all sorts of things, and it's I mean, difficult. Really, do you really expect cheap when we're talking Williams-Sonoma? I love that place. It's great. It's pretty amazing. We can buy a $16 spatula in there, too, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get Debbie to buy a spatula last time we were in there, and she was like this. She's like, oh, a spatula? I'm like, yeah, get a spatula. So she, she walks away, and she's like, uh, $16. <laughs> and promptly put it back. <laughs> we won't buy a $16 spatula, but we will buy a $500 litter box. <laughs> The biggest litter box That was ever. the best buy I've made all year. It Actually, really looks like Mor all lifetime. from Morgan Indy. If, Indy flew it in his pod. That's right. But if you have a cat, check out the self-cleaning Robo Kitty Litter. I actually need to get like an affiliate link, and I'll put it down at the link below here, where I don't even have that set up yet, but eventually it will be. <laughs> down here. And Click the link below, it's wink, a, wink. It's amazing. I mean, it just like self-cleans. You never have to touch cat crap. It's, um, you know, it's pretty incredible. You know, my friend Susie and her husband have this great little contraption for their cat litter box because they used to have two cats before they had kids. How do you see who's looking? Um, it says who's watching on there. And John put a, cat, a doggy door in one of the walls in his house that went out into the garage and then bought like a vanity, a cabinet, put it on the garage side and but does he, he the cat would go through the doggy door on the wall into the cabinet in the garage where the litter box was, poop in the litter box, do whatever, and then come back in the house. So the litter box was always in the garage, which is great because mm -hmm. I hate litter boxes. Yeah, this, cats are pretty cool, but litter boxes are disgusting. That's why I never had a cat until my daughter moved back home with her cat. Yeah, and I don't have a cat because then Poppy will never come stay with me. That's why we should get a hairless one. Is he allergic to cats? Yeah, I don't want a hairless cat. He's so I gross. So cute. Is he like super allergic? He's allergic, like he won't come. Hmm. Yeah, but he won't so, come anyway. He, he only comes, comes every year. He to come. Like when he drives down, yeah, he doesn't fly here. He doesn't like come here often. Yeah, but I don't want him to not come because we have a dumb cat. We can, we can just have the cat stay somewhere else for the four days he's here. Oh, jeez. We're not going to have a whole discussion about having a cat. Okay. Okay. Do we have a timer on these cookies? Just me. So these are at 325, which is an unusually low time for, a low temp for cookies. And cookies are finish? usually 
350. Why do I think that is? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe because they want them to be chewy? You can bring her in, but you got to walk around. Do you think that it's anything to do with the, um, <laughs> the gluten-free? Uh, be does it bake differently? It does bake differently. It does perform different than gluten. But not uh, like the way it absorbs the liquid in recipes is different. Mm -hmm. I usually let my, my recipe rest, like the dough rest, so that the flour has time to absorb the liquid, like the butter and mm -hmm. the, some of the fat. But now gluten-free flour, doesn't it not do that? Doesn't it like, does it rise as much or something? Is it yeah, it doesn't form the, the strands of gluten don't attach. Because when you work the dough, anytime you manipulate the dough, if it's got wheat, the gluten strains, the gluten strains hook together and it becomes chewy, huh? You should talk closer. I feel like you should talk closer. Oh, so how's, that? See, how's it now? Demonstrate. We're getting into like chemistry of gluten. Can here. you see? It smells really good. Anyway, gluten performs better because it just, it's also been being worked with for over a hundred years as a ingredient. So there's a lot more known about how to bake with gluten versus how to bake with, with gluten-free flours. And I, I would prefer to really not have to do it, but it kills me. It hurts me to eat gluten. Like my throat gets tight, my stomach hurts. I feel like, oh, I wake up and I'm like, my eyes are itchy in the morning and I just, it's not good. So I have to try to stay it away. It's good, but it's not good. It's great, but it's bad. It's like a bad boyfriend. It's good, but it's bad. Right, Emma? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm just wondering if that's, if you think the same thing. No. No? Mm -mm. Even your boyfriend, your right. old boyfriend, you're like, ugh. Why we're um in my life now. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Why we're waiting for the cookies to cook, which would be another what five minutes? How they looking? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're almost done. Good. One or two minutes. This actually. is what I'm really excited about because I'm a pound cake kind of girl. So gluten free pound cake mix is what we're gonna do next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Actually, we should probably set a time. I mean, Six we can do that now. one, and I can do my. Pound people. cake, which is also world renowned. This is vanilla beans. It's my mom's pound cake recipe, actually. Should I put the camera on here? Premium, it's got premium Madagascar vanilla in it, so that should handle Kimmy's objection on boxed mixes. But still. I'm sure it's not the same. Like, King Arthur flour makes a great gluten free flour mix, and they make a great specifically muffin mix that I've bought. and. I've made blueberry muffins out of it, and I've made those banana, make, I make those banana muffins mm -hmm. that are gluten-free, and it works great. The only thing I object to is in their mix, they have a funky tasting vanilla. Mm -hmm. And I called them and I'm like, eh, is it the same flour? Can I just use the plain flour and my recipe? Will it perform the same? Like, what's different? And she was like, well, I can't give you our proprietary information. But, anyways, I figured it out. But when you use cheap vanilla, it really doesn't doesn't work. You can try to save yourself forty bucks on a bottle of vanilla. But like this, it's probably cheap vanilla. Yeah, Wegmans. But my mom bought that. Oh, sorry, Karen. <laughs> is is that on even still? Amazing vanilla. What is this? And are you on? Madagascar beans, vanilla extract. I don't know. Vodka and Madagascar beans. Yeah, you can make your own extract, but I never really believe it tastes as good as the stuff Vodka. I bought. Can you down. see these? Should I switch? Ooh, they look kind of yummy. Switch. They look actually delicious. Yeah, come on. Wow. Mm, yum. They look pretty good, Kimmy. So I'm gonna scoop one off and give it to Emma and she can, well, come on this side, babe, and you can try it. Okay. Once I put it down, she goes crazy. How she manipulates you. Thanks, Jessica, we're just about to 
bite into them. There you go, babe. That looks delicious. Give us some reviews. It's really hot though, right? It's super hot, but... Oh, here, I'll give you a... Almond milk. You want some almond milk? Debbie has almond milk here, too. Here, you can try this. I mean, this. it's not as good as normal milk, but I'm right. not, I want to be here bourbon for the next, like, Let me get 40 um, minutes that down here. and get bloated. Right, from. but that's the same thing with me and gluten. It's not worth it. Oh, got you. Got you. No. Does vanilla keep for a while, Sam? Yeah, but I don't have yeah. a problem with gluten. For like, what's a while? Know. A year? Two years? No, it's in. It's an alcohol, year? so. This is vanilla. It's oh, it's so good. It is? That's shit. That is the best almond milk. Oh, really? Then I'll start buying it. I mean, Khalifa has the best. Yeah. So we use it at home. The creamer is like. Creamer is really good. It's coconut milk, vanilla, and is there vanilla? Is there yeah. vanilla? Yeah. I get it for Emma because she likes cold brew and I like cold brew too, but. But I don't like dark coffee at all. Like, I, I don't like dark coffee. I like when it's light. Because, but that's why I like this because it's thick. It's like coconut. normal creamer with almond milk is like thin and this yeah, it does doesn't. nothing. Here so, it goes. Here she goes. What? She's dunking it. Will you have almond milk? I can really do it without it. Yeah. So, Doug's is good. MIA. Is it good? Yeah. I would eat that. <laughs> They're really good. She would eat it. But you know how much that box of was? $23. Hi, Sarah. I don't know if you're still watching, but you, if you are, yes, the uh, cookies, they do look delicious. Unfortunately, I can't eat them myself. What do you think, Emma? They're really good. Sarah. Sarah. Boo! Sarah. Um, girl, I know. In the base. Oh. So Emma's right. now gonna try my cookie. <clears throat> so now I'm calling my husband. What's the difference? The ultimate you just gave me cookie one. tester. Babe. Come here. You have to um, try this. Oh, milk is so so good. here's the cookies that we made. Okay, yep. Taste test. Well, oh, you know yeah, what Emma. you know what Kim's taste like, so. Have one of those. We don't need you. <laughs> Grab one of those. It's like a different one of these bad boys. Yeah. Yours have a better like. Do we get some more like milk? Like more chewy and more like. Is milk gone? Oh yeah. Normal. Milk's gone. No, it tastes no, like no. a normal chocolate. Yeah. Cookie. My like husband yours. has to have milk or he can't eat cookies. So what do you say? They're milk? both different. Which is oh. better? This. Oh! This is my childhood. Like this is what. Mama wins. You guys should have mixed them up for me. Did like the coke taste difference. test challenge. There's just that. You have to see what I'm talking about. These have more chips There's in them. Like, I can say that right away. I mean, I've eaten a lot of these. Is it the butter? Do you do the brown bean butter? Or you just, just the brown yeah. Brown? Yeah. Then this is the other one I get to compare it to. Yeah. Well, you've already eaten like a whole bag of those. You already know what those mm. those taste like. Dog, it's worst. escaping me. He is the worst, isn't he? God. It's escaping me right now. <laughs> you ate the whole bag and you're like, it's escaping me. <laughs> oh, it's gone. It just left me entirely. <laughs> oh, my God. Debbie, I don't know how you do it. I mean, I can't even do it for 10 minutes. But you love him, right? Sure. <laughs> Are you gluten free? Yeah. I thought it sounded like Debbie there for a minute. You do sound like Debbie, but we won't hold it against you. Well, I mean, if you look at Deb, why don't you switch the... Will you put that next to... Mm -hmm. Is it on us right now or no? Here. Yeah, okay, so here's... Well, I can tell you that... There's Kim's cookie. There's this just to say it's like... This is really good. I mean, this is good. Yeah, it is really good. It is nothing is wrong good. with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. This is really good, but this is like, there's just a different taste. Sure. Nothing wrong with that. I could kill six of those. Well, you're welcome to leave mine alone. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're already gone. That just feels more like a cookie to me. Like, that's my definition yeah. of a cookie. I'm not sure, though. I have, to, I have to have some more. 
All right, so on a scale of one to ten, what do you think, Kim? Amazing how someone could be so annoying. Just in like a few words. Kim, so, scale of one to ten. I ain't trying. Why don't you try? Mm -hmm. I will. They're too hot for me. On a scale of one to ten? I mean, they're a ten. They're good. What's mine? That's, wow. This is 9.5, that's, that's a amazing. 10 for me. Yeah, I mean, this is also, unfortunately, this is also a 10. They're just slightly different. Yeah, well, then you can just buy these and make them at your house. Mm. You well, need, you don't actually, need to these, um, <laughs> I prefer these because these have less chocolate chips in them. We had that whole discussion about that. So, we actually thought about... Those are a little too loaded. Yeah, I agree. We, we could have not used all of them. Yeah, but we weren't sure, so we figured we'd make it like that, and then next batch if we could have cut, cut, cut a third out, probably would have been. Good. I think that you really got it, like that cookie. You got it. Did you have toffee in them? Or no, no, no. no? no. But it's the same yeah. thing, just without the toffee. Right. It's better. No. Without the toffee. I like it without the toffee better too. Because it just tastes like it. Literally, what I from what I remember, it tastes toffee like the cookies you used to make all the time. It is. That's like the you, same take them, you take them out the like you put them in the freezer. You take them out the freezer and they get like they start to melt and they're like they start to get flimsy and then it's like sticky and like chewy. So good, right? Yeah. All right. That's how I. That's Are how my I services uh, rendered? They're rendered. So we're signing off. What's there something else you want to say? Cheers. No. I I would say that these if you're gluten free Cheers. or even if you're not gluten free, you just don't want to eat a lot of gluten. This is a, a worthwhile <coughs> alternative. And if you have to go to someone's house and they're gluten free, you can make these for them. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's yeah, a great, it's like a great you're gift from scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I already made my cookies once here. I already gave away the farm. As soon as I'm off my diet, we're going to have 20 cookie episodes. So <laughs> just bear with us for another three or four weeks and you will have but, your fair but share. But I food. also make other cookies. Yeah. I make these great thumb for coconut. Uh, she makes like shortbread thumbprint with like apricot and raspberry jelly in them. What else, Emma? The anise cookies I make that everyone loves. I love those. What else? <laughs> Are we ending off now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we'll give her anise cookies one of these days too because those are really good. Yeah. Those so are good. next weekend we'll see you. Thanks for spending your Sunday evening with us, or Saturday, whatever day it is. Yeah. And uh, see you next weekend. See you next weekend. Bye. Bye. I press finish? Yes. Press finish. So you can keep these here, and you can bake.